So I have a problem. Uh, when I got back from work, my room smelled like cat pee. And I don't know why, because there was no cat in here uh, when I left for work. And the room, and I usually lock my bedroom when I leave for work, and it was still locked. So I don't know where this smell came from. So I'm in the process of like tearing everything apart to try to like get to the bottom of this and maybe like take out everything that's under my bed and see if it's under my bed because I can't find it. I thought it was on my bed at first, but it's not. Which arguably would have been better because then I would have been able to deal with it right away. But it, I can't find it. So I'm going to start by folding this and putting it away so that I can move the, this thing that it's on. All right, everything is washed now. So, now it's time to wash the Vinny. Because <laughs> I, I need to shave. So I'm going to go do that. So, as you can see, uh, I shaved. Uh, I didn't, um, this is a few days later as I'm, like, going through footage, and I realize, oh, I never actually talked after, sh after showering and shaving. So I shaved. It's been a few days now, so it started to grow back in. But, eh, you know, sometimes you just need to. Uh, for me, whenever it gets, like, in enough to be uncomfortable, that's when I decide, yeah, it's time to shave. So I did. And obviously, days later, it, it grew back. Hi, I'm exhausted today. So I'm gonna try to go to bed a little, a little quickly here. Um... I had work today, right? And I closed. But then I had to walk home. And because there was too much going on, nobody was able to pick me up. Normally, somebody will come and get me. Uh, but I walked home today because there was too much going on. And it was raining. And that sucks. Because I have to walk home in the rain. But in addition to the rain, it was also windy. So, um... This is the umbrella that I like to use, and as you can see, it's, a uh, very broken. Let me try to get a better angle of that. Yeah, that's, that's very broken. So I kind of got to just toss this now, and that's unfortunate, because I really liked this umbrella. I've had this umbrella for years. Uh, I don't remember where we got it or when we got it, but I know that... It predates being here, at the very least. So it is unfortunate, because it was my favorite. So, what can you do? I guess I'll go throw it away now. So every once in a while, we add new mugs to the collection that we have here, because we drink a lot of tea and coffee in this house, so... We need a lot of mugs. So when I get this picture from mom today, saying, hey, do you have more of these? I'm like, y probably, why? She sends me this picture of the broken one. And I'm like, fine, okay, hang on. And I go get two more. And I pray that nothing happens to these two because it's brand new. And the store didn't have any more in stock after this. So, kind of need to make these last. But we added new mugs to the collection. Mugs that I know that we like here. So, hopefully they, uh, hopefully they last. So, a couple of friends challenged me to a thing today, right? They were talking about this government thing. And how it had very seemingly lackluster um, physical requirements. 15 push-ups, 15 sit-ups, and just low numbers of stuff like that. Which, not for nothing, a lot of people would struggle with that. But, just on the numbers thing, it seemed pretty low. They were like, yeah, a pull-up would seem harder than that. 
So they jokingly said, okay, if you do a pull-up, we're going to buy you another figure for your collection. So I gave it a few attempts. And then I did one that seemingly would fit the criteria that they said would work for a proper pull-up. And I'm waiting to hear back. But it was interesting because I tried to do them... I tried to do one at work. And I didn't get this recorded because we uh, I hadn't gotten to hit start recording yet. Uh, but the I tried to do it in the doorway of the building. And that top bar there like started to like bend under my weight and I don't weigh a ton so that was surprising but uh it was it was interesting interesting to see and hopefully I hear back soon about this um this most recent attempt today was Jake's birthday and while I had work and didn't get to spend a ton of the day with him, he decided he wanted to wait for me to get home for us to do his cake, which is a little surprising because, you know, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't have to wait for me, but he wanted to anyway, which I appreciate, but not necessary. But we did do the cake. So here, have that. Happy birthday uh, to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jake. Happy birthday to you. Nice. All right, now cut the cake. Hi, welcome to Monday. Uh, that is a dog barking. I do not see why. I guess I'll go figure that out first. Literally barking at nothing, as usual. Anyway, the thing that I wanted to tell you about is this. These barbecue fries. Uh, we get a couple of different flavors of this brand at work. And um, I wanted to try it because it seemed interesting and I liked some of the other flavors. Specifically, the one that I really liked was the cheddar fries, cheddar cheese, whatever it's called, flavor. So I'm going to try these, and we're going to see how they are. Okay, let's try. Well, definitely just barbecue. Mm. It definitely tastes barbecue, but it's not as, um, satisfying as the other flavors. So, I don't know if I like it. I'll definitely eat it. But, um, I don't know how I feel about it. I'll check back in when I'm done with the bag. Alright, I'm about halfway through the bag. And I can confidently say I'm enjoying it. So, I'm gonna call this mini-review here. Um, they're pretty good. Try them. Definitely worth trying. I have a problem that needs fixing. So, you see my mess of wires down here? What's missing? Something that I normally need to have while I'm in here. That'd be a phone charger. You can see there is a wire plugged in here. And at the end of this wire is a lightning port, or a lightning head. The thing will focus, please. There we go. So, here's my little lightning cable for charging phones. But as you saw, it was plugged into the, um, the PS5. That's no good. So I'm gonna go get something to add to that mess, or replace something in that mess, to um, make me not have to waste extra power by turning on the PlayStation every time I want to charge my phone in my office. This is something I got at work. Uh, Five bucks, but it's got two jacks on it, two ports. One is USB-A, the other is USB-C. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna use both at the same time. I probably won't, but I figured this would be nice to have. 
it will solve my problem. So let's go get that set up. Since it is fully charged currently, I think I'm gonna unplug the um, 3DS charger. All right, got it plugged in and plug in my phone. And I actually don't know if it's charging, so let me go get the other phone. So I actually had this plugged in and charging in my room, so it's fully charged, but this will still tell me if it works. Which it does. Brilliant. So now I don't have to worry about my phone dying on me while I'm uh, in my office. At least as far as, um, at least while I have it plugged in and I'm at my desk and not constantly getting up and uh, not in the middle of transferring footage. Which does happen sometimes. But I'll worry about that when I get there. But that's going to be it for this week. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you did something good one. And I'll see you next week.